Guys, Aaron right here. Welcome back to the Summer of Madness. <laughs> Welcome to the Summer of Madness. Yeah. So, to all the few muggles out there, there is something in the world called geocaching. For those of you who don't know, you're a muggle. This gentleman right here, he's a muggle. That's not a joke. It's actually a real thing a geocaching community has created. It's actually a, a thing. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. It's okay. actually a thing. Geocaching, those of you who don't know, is basically people go around the world and they hide objects. There's objects on Mount Everest, there's more objects in Antarctica, in the middle of the ocean that you have to scuba dive down to get to. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, You're putting your underwear on your on your eyeballs. That's that's not your face underwear on your eyeballs. Yeah, and? Anyway, Indy over here has right. not done geocaching, and I have. So we're going to go take Indy to go find a geocache. And we are in a lovely Walmart parking lot. We just did some grocery shopping for future, some future videos. By the way, not sponsored by that guy or this guy. We're gonna go ahead and go do that. We will come back when we f get to the location. So we, we're doing the cache here in Jacksonville, Florida called Wally's World. Uh, it says that it's a quick park and grab type of cache. Now those of you who don't know what park and grab means, it literally means exactly what it sounds like. You park, you grab it, you go. Now, I believe I grabbed a pen. I didn't. I grabbed a pen. Okay, cool. But right now we have to get out of the car and we have to go find it. We're a couple meters meters from it. So, okay. you ready? Yeah, let's go. Geocaching is kind of like treasure hunting. Let's go, let's go look for it. All right. I believe it might be right here. Bingo, there it is. Yeah. Oh, cool. So this is it right here. Here, let's go back to the car and we'll, we'll do what we have to do next part. Okay, so next thing we have to do, now we have the geocache, the way this works. I don't have my tripod. All right, so this is the little geocache container right here. Basically what you do is you open it. These things usually have items in it. This one is a little too small for it. What is this? Fish window cleaning. <laughs> Fish window cleaning. Someone put their business card in there. So this thing right here is the most important part of geocaching. This right here is the most important part. This is the log, right? So this, uh, this is all the people who have found it. Someone just found this thing, looks like on the 2017. That's freaking cool. So what you do with this, you don't have an account. So I'm not going to put your name on there. I do. Actually, I do. I just downloaded the app a little bit earlier today. So what you do with, the, with geocaching is you make a geocaching account. Use your username. And then your username, you want to make that small. Use your username and you would put your name on there. But what I'm going to do is put S-O-M. What's today's date? Uh, the 17th, I think? Uh, the 18th. I was wrong. 18. There you go. Can't see it, it's gonna be backwards, but it's the blue right it's the blue writing there down there. And now what you do is you just you put the log back in the zip log baggie and then you put it back. And these things are hidden all over the world. I've done a couple of them where it was called Rocky Five is back and it was at a mm. Wendy's parking lot. That's neat. That's real neat. You can just probably find these literally anywhere. Yeah, they, they they are literally anywhere. I'm sure if you looked at the geocaching app, there's probably somebody down the street from you. I'll come with me and put it back. Put yeah, it back? Sure. All right, go so put it back. Set it up. And we are putting it Oh, that opens! <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo! Alright guys, so that was geocache. Um, did you want me to do one more or no? Oh uh, yeah, There's one can. more in this parking lot. Let's go find it. Okay, so this geocache is called Be Pretty Darn Quick. Now the reason being is because you have to be quick when doing these things because you're not supposed to let people know that you're doing a geocache. You have to be quick about trying to get this one. There's actually a PDQ right over here. That's why it was called Pretty Darn Quick. Very clever. Very clever! So we did end up finding that one. We're back. Uh, we went looking for it. Pretty darn quick. PDQ. Very clever wording. I really like that one. That but was, we that couldn't surprise me. We couldn't find it. But a lot of them are like that though too, where you'll go look for it and you can't find it immediately. Yeah. I didn't really want to look for it that much, only because there's a lot of a lot muggle of yeah, activity. Exactly. So we didn't want to uh, go looking for it. But um, that was geocaching. What do you think about it? it was fun. At least we found one of them. That was good. It's cool, right? Yeah, it was pretty cool. At least we found one. This is just a little quick video because we were out and about. We were just like, hey, let's see if there's any geocaches around here. So this is just kind of like a little quick video. Yeah. To, to just, this is like while we're in the area. What if we placed our own? That would be cool. That'd be a really cool thing. Would yeah. It? Yeah. 
All right, guys. Well, that was it. If you end up doing geocaching of your own or new geocaching is totally new to you, it's really easy to get started. All you got to do is go to geocaching.com, sign up. Make your username small, because that's what goes into the logs. And let us know, like tag us on Instagram, socials and stuff, when you end up finding them. Do hashtag um, some caching. S-O-M caching. Uh, probably, pro editor, whoever you are, it'll put it, put it, put it across the bottom. And, um, Do we have an editor? You're looking at him. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>